The theme of this semester's volume is an issue divided and issue united. And ideally, the purpose of it is supposed to find similarities in the conflicts that have usually divided us. So my whole inspiration for this theme was that nowadays it feels like we're growing further and further apart with every social issue or cultural debate that we have. And so I really wanted this magazine to be a way for us to come back together to unify and find similarities and commonalities between the things that have previously divided us. Peacock Magazine is a student-run magazine on the culture and aspirations of international youth. Hi, my name is Lauren Nains, and I'm the editor-in-chief of this semester's edition of the Peacock Magazine. Hi, my name is Stella Richmond, and I'm the art director. Hi, my name is Sophia Rose, and I am the photography director. Asking my writers to write about conflict, I didn't really know what to expect. Of course, there are the big main issues that everyone talks about, but there are also the more nuanced and personal issues that are still important, yet many might be unaware of or afraid to talk about. So I was really pleasantly surprised that with the diverse set of staff writers that I had and outside contributors, we were able to see a huge array of different topics that people were able to explore and explain why these are conflicts, how they're either internal conflicts or exterior, bigger, broader social issue conflicts, and find a way to add a hopeful tone to those issues and find commonalities that we can all share between them. Because it's a student magazine, I wanted to, to make it really colorful. It's springtime, so I love using color. And I feel like I'm always interested in making sure that there's kind of an artistic side to all of the spreads. I don't want it to look, you know, boring or anything. So I want every spread to really come together and look like a full piece instead of it being kind of discombobulated. I just want the magazine to represent the student body and to kind of give a feeling and vibe of the springtime. Three, two, one, go. For my creative process, I really wanted to focus on using really artistic photos to accompany the pieces. I wanted all the photos to be able to stand alone as a work, but when put together with the pieces, just create this beautiful moment that everyone can enjoy and find the value and appreciation in. Laying out this edition was really special because we were all able to work together. The last two ones, COVID kind of threw a wrench in the ability to all be together. And I felt really lucky to have both Lauren and Sophia to help me with any questions I had or any problems or if I just felt really stuck on a piece. They had awesome input. So, I felt really, really honored to work with such stunning and creative artists and writers and I just feel very lucky this semester and I'm so happy with how it turned out. In making these shoots, a lot of the behind the scenes work on my part was mood boarding and finding locations and outfits and props and food design and all these sorts of things that I think when put together with the help of my team, Lauren and Stella, it just looks wonderful and you can really see all the hard work that we put into it. Another thing that was really important to our team was using AUP students as models and trying our best to find as many AUP students to model as we could. The cover was shot at Bois de Vincennes on a sunny day with two AUP students. When coming up with ideas for the cover, Stella, Lauren, and I really wanted to find a way that we could really show um, division and unity together and their interconnectedness in a visual. And I think the best way we thought we could do this is through using kind of human form and having two people and their poses kind of explain this idea of how all things that are divided have something connected and all things that are united have some sort of division. Come pick up the mag uh, at Combs on Friday. And Please pick up a copy, support us. The first 50 people who come will get a free tote bag. It will also be available in select cafes around Paris. More information to come. Get the magazine! Get the magazine.